Well guys, you know what chroma key is, you know the basics of chroma key. Now you need to know what type of equipment. What, what, do I mean, what type of equipment out there that is chroma key? What, what, what do I use? What do I use for this? How do I light it? Blah, blah, blah. Well, we're going to get into that. But I'm going to go over what type of chroma key stuff is out there. You've got really expensive stuff that can cost you hundreds if not thousands of dollars all the way down to do-it-yourself stuff that, you know, it's just, it doesn't give you that professional look that you're looking for. And then you've got some mid-range stuff. A really good website that I found um, that offers chroma key stuff at discounted prices. And it's, it's awesome. It's really awesome. But first, before I go and give you more details on that, I want to go over some of the stuff that, that uh, we use for chroma key. And you know, before I do that, I should turn off the chroma key effects behind me, shouldn't I? Okay. The first thing that you could possibly use are little green screen, blue screen sheets. These are about, I mean, they, these are actually plastic sheets. They're uh, 54 inches by 108. Uh, they work fairly well. Um, the only thing is they're made of plastic. Not a big fan of the plastic myself, but, uh, I, and they're pretty small too. You know, I've always said, the bigger your chroma key, the better. So, bigger is better in chroma key. These would be nice for headshots. If you're gonna buy something like this, if you're gonna buy these little plastic things, um, they run about 15 bucks, but, you know, buy at least three or four of them because, uh, you might be out there in the field or you're gonna shoot some chroma key and then rip because, uh, you know, plastic, uh, it's not like cloth. And that moves me into my next one. My favorites are the muslins. You've got green screen and you've got a blue screen. This is a nine by 12. It's a good size. This company uh, that makes it charges about 48 bucks for it which is a steal for a 9x12 chroma key and they make them all the way up from uh, 9x6 to 9x20 and the 9x20 is $89. $89 for a 9x20 is great. So uh, they make them both in chroma key green, chroma key blue and uh, I like the muslins because they are cloth, they do not rip, you can wash them if they get dirty, you can hang them up with tacks, you can not worry about getting holes in them, you can hang them over stands, they're just very, very uh, versatile. And uh, if I were to do chroma key, which I do do chroma key by the way, this is what I use. Now if you want to take it a step further, and you've got more of a permanent area for doing your chroma key, you can go with chroma key video paint. Now this stuff is good. This company sells it for about 50 bucks a gallon. It's a lot cheaper than most companies. I've seen this stuff for 150 to 200 bucks a gallon before. So if you've got an area that, like a wall or a flat wall, don't do angles with chroma key paint. It, uh, it's hard to light. If you've got a flat wall and it's gonna be permanent, you can buy some of the paint, paint it. You may have to do two layers of it and uh, you've got chroma key there that you can just set up immediately. It's very dull too, so it, it doesn't reflect. Now you're probably asking yourself, is this a giant alien coming out here? A green creature from Mars? No, it's me, it's Mark Absalon, and I am in a chroma key green suit. This is one of the cool things that I found uh, on 2tape.com. Um, the suit is entirely chroma key, from the head all the way down to the toes. They even have little footies for your feet to go into. So you are chroma keyed all over the place. And um, 
The practical application of this type of uh, outfit is to just pretty much remove you entirely from the chroma key. You could possibly even have a chroma key background and you could be in the suit yourself and that way it removes everything. What you want to do for setting up on the inside, you can either use a stand or you can, if you've got a flat wall like behind me, you can do it a very cheap and manageable way. First off, you need these thumbtacks. Green preferably if you're using green screen. Blue if you're using blue screen. Well, what I do is I take my chroma key sheet and I pretty much start with the end. And I take one of the tacks and drive it through the sheet and push it into the wall. Once you have the first corner done of the sheet, just do the, uh, the remaining four corners all the way down to the end and make them as tight as possible. Now, when you have your chroma key sheet pretty much in place, don't worry too much about the wrinkles in it. You can add more tacks to kind of bring out the wrinkles. Um, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it because when you're keying this stuff out, a lot of the wrinkles will disappear. The next thing that you want to do is you want to light your chroma key. And this is the very critical part. Lighting indoors, you need your chroma key evenly lit. That means no shadows, no nothing on the chroma key back. That's why when I'm sitting uh, in front of the chroma key, I'm sitting at least five feet away from the chroma key sheet. That way it adds some blur to the background and it doesn't cast any shadows to it. The first step in lighting your chroma key evenly is a choice of lights. There are a lot of light kits out there, they're very expensive, and then there are reasonably priced lights. Like for instance, these are work lights. They're 500 watts for each light. They're blinding me right now, <laughs> really harshly. I can't even see what I'm doing, hardly. But they give a nice even light, and the thing is they're relatively cheap. On the website uh, Tube Tape, where um, all this chroma key stuff came from, they sell them for $49, which is the price that you end up paying for these things. They're, the, they're $49, $50 lights, and they're, they're great, and they work excellent. I have never had any problems with them. I actually like these better than my light kit. Well, what you do is you'll put these lights, like this one, at a angle adjacent to the uh, chroma key. You'll do the same thing over here on this side. Put them up and put them at an angle to make sure that your chroma key screen is evenly lit. Now that we've got our chroma key evenly lit on both sides uh, at an angle to the chroma key with a thousand watts over here lighting, 500 watts each light, and the same thing on the other side, You'll want to take your subject and bring them about five feet and set them on a stool or a chair where they can even be standing in front of the chroma key. Now you'll want to light your subject. We're going to go over a lighting of subjects, uh, three-point lighting schemes, uh, later on in another video. So I'm not going to really go into detail on it now. But your primary goal for chroma key is to get it evenly lit. In this video, we've gone over your tools for chroma key. Um, we've gone over uh, methods for chroma keying and uh, we've tried to cover just the basics. Now you're probably wondering where can I get some of this chroma key equipment like that chroma key suit. That chroma key suit's just awesome or the 9x12 chroma key uh, muslin or the chroma key paint. Well there's a great site I discovered it's called tubetape.com. That's tubetape.com. They carry all your chroma key equipment, including the the two uh, two lights that we have here too, and um, they sell them at very reasonable prices. Well, guys, that about wraps up the basic tutorial on chroma key and uh, going over the tools, the methods, and where to find these cool items I've got here. So, but guys, I'm gonna actually gonna do a tutorial video on the Vision Labs by FX Home. Uh, which you can also find at Tube Tape too. And um, 
I'm also going to do a lighting scheme, a three-point lighting scheme, and also an advanced techniques lighting scheme uh, pretty soon too. And I'm going to tell you guys where you can get reasonably cheap lights that work very well. So guys, stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, you guys have a great night.